Hi there, I'm Miles from Highview Solutions. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add users to your organization through the G Suite admin panel. So let's jump right into it here. From the admin console home screen, I'm selecting users. And by default, this will display all the active users within my organization. Keep in mind on the left-hand side, you have the filter options. And you can take a look at your suspended users, but for now, and by default, it will show a list of all your active users their name, last time they signed in, options to reset their password, edit details, etc. I'm clicking in the bottom right hand corner to add an individual user and then we will go back and add multiple users. Click add user, go ahead and enter the details of that individual and then the desired email address. Keep in mind that you can use aliases over time. So in this case, Matthew Johnson, I'm setting up matt.johnson, but down the road I could create Matthew at or Matt J at uh, different combinations that will all route to this one user. And we'll address that in a later video. You also have the option to set a password automatically or you could click set password to manually um, add a password. Additional info, this is helpful if you have their phone number handy or if there's information such as their employee ID, manager's email, department that they're associated with, or a cost center, and, and you want to add those details as part of provisioning them a email account. But for now, let's just go ahead and click Create. And then now let's go ahead and enter a password. And then you have the option to go ahead and email the details of the login credentials to Matt's personal email address, for instance. Alternatively, we could simply copy this URL um, and then send it to him some, some other way. Uh, but the most common is to either print or, or send via email. So in this case, we could send to his personal email account and send a copy to me. Great. And then the first time Matt logs in, it will register here. So that's adding a single user. To add multiple users, go down to the bottom right hand corner. And from here, um, you could actually download a, a spreadsheet which will populate certain columns. And this is a great template for you to utilize. So let's go ahead and click download as a CVS, C CSV, excuse me. Great. Uh, I'm navigating over to my Google Drive. I've set up Google Drive as the destination where all of my downloaded files save. So I'm simply navigating over to Google Drive. Let's go into Recent. You'll see this file right here, User Data. Um, so I'm going to right-click this and open with Google Sheets. Excellent. So you can see the two users in my organization. And let's go ahead and use this as a sort of a guide to create a new user. So we'll call this um, Emily. And we'll create Emily at, and then I'll just quickly copy that domain, and paste it there, and we'll assign our password of Central Coast. Now you want to make sure to delete the uh, existing users that you downloaded as part of your template. Otherwise, when, when you upload the list, it will prompt them to reset their passwords, which, which you don't want to do. Uh, so in this case, I will delete those other users, uh, but that was sort of a helpful template. Sometimes it's nice to see uh, the information. Great, so from here, I'm simply going to click, um, uh, actually, you know, I think we're, we're okay. Actually, I'm gonna click File, Download as a, uh, a CSV. Now we get back to my admin console, select multiple users, and then attach a file. And once again, navigate to my drive and make sure I'm not selecting the Google Sheet, but the CSV file. And then simply click Upload. And then I'm prompted, adding one user, and then I will receive a full report when that process is complete. So that's how you would add users in bulk. If you're not using um, Active Directory or some other system to provision users in bulk, um, this is a, a good approach to, to managing a bulk upload and you could add extra data as well uh, for each individual user. Great. Uh, so that's the basics of adding users in the G Suite admin panel. Thank you.